Hello, welcome to Switched On, Paul speaking, and today we're going to have a look at a new game that's coming out this week on the Nintendo Switch, and that is Destiny Connect TikTok Travelers. Comes to the eShop via the excellent NIS America, who uh, must thank for providing me with this code. They do give me some excellent codes to look at, so big appreciation to those guys. And this is a, a JRPG, um, very similar in a lot of ways to Little Town Heroes, which I recently reviewed. Uh, features a child protagonist, so here we have nine-year-old Sherry and a strange mystery in a small town to uncover, a lot like the uh, the Little Town Heroes game that I reviewed. But uh, this one all revolves around the turn of the millennium, so the game starts in 1999, New Year's Eve 1999, just as the, uh, the year is about to tick over to the year 2000, and uh, just at those celebrations a, uh, an incident happens and basically the whole town gets frozen in time and it's up to Sherry and the uh, robot that she finds called Isaac to resolve this situation, find out what's going on and uh, travel through time to uncover this mystery. So we're just going to have a little playthrough here just while I chat about some of it. It's a typical JRPG. Just have a look at the, the battle system here. As I say, very early on still in this, so it's quite basic. But here we have Sherry and Isaac. So we're going to learn a new skill here for Sherry. A lot of tutorials in this really does sort of hold your hand through all of the basics of the game. Um, if you've played JRPGs before, you're going to be fairly au fait with what's going on here. Uh, nothing too clever or complicated like Little Town Hero. Very traditional sort of turn-based battles here. So if we just get through this tutorial about how to use skills... Blah, 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 blah. So you see here on the left we've got a turn order. So we've got Sherry, Isaac, and then three attacks by the enemy. Who uh, A lot of the enemies in this game take on forms of like real life objects. So these look like possessed televisions that we have to take down. Bottom left corner is our attacking menu. So at the moment all we can do is defend, use a skill, attack, or use an item. There's uh, another item yet to unlock there. So on Sherry's turn, we're just going to do a simple attack. And you can choose which enemy you want to attack, so it's best to focus on one. We'll attack the first Televirus. And she's got this old sort of laser gun that she's found. That's Isaac's turn. Again, he's got the uh, the same sort of menu in the bottom left-hand corner. So just for now, we'll just do a basic attack with Isaac. And we'll focus on the same enemy. See if we can take them down. And now it's the enemies turn to attack us so that's said there two goes so now sherry's turn again Let's see if we can use a skill uh, her skill her first skill there is aid which uh, can recover hp for um, her party which we don't need to use yet so we'll just stick to a basic attack as i said this isn't probably representative of the the latter stages of the game so we are very early on here just wanted to give you a quick look of sort of how it runs and the sort of basic setup of the game but from what I've played so far, I quite like it, to be honest. It's um, very cutesy. I wasn't quite sure on the artwork and sort of the animations at first, but it does grow on you. Um, the only thing I wasn't quite so keen on is there's absolutely no voice acting in the game at all, which I think for a JRPG generally is a shame. I certainly marked down Little Town Hero for its lack of voice acting. Um, and that was, you know, about £10 cheaper than this game. So I think if you're going to charge a reasonably premium price for a JRPG it needs voice acting and this has got absolutely nothing so there's a hell of a lot of reading that needs to be done uh, to get used to the story so here's someone in the town they're just frozen in time and uh, at the moment we're not sure why there was just sort of a firework display on New Year's Eve and everybody just froze in time so if you see these exclamation marks on the ground or doorways go over to them that progresses the story This is Sherry talking about her grandma, who you meet early on, who works in the, one of the little cafes in the town. So we're now being directed to the cafe. You've got the uh, mini-map in the top corner. We can cycle through different sizes of that. So it starts default as small, and we can increase the size, which is really handy. And sorry to keep comparing this to Little Town Hero. I'm sure it's a, this isn't really a comparison video, but that game had no mini-map, and even though it featured a small town, was, again, a lesser game for it. It was really annoying um, that it didn't have a map 
you know, it's, it's a basic of an RPG, isn't it, to have a map, surely? So, um, fully covered here with a map in this game. But from what I know of this game, from uh, previews I've read and other footage that I've seen, your robot character there, Isaac, can take on different forms in sort of different sorts of classes if you uh, liken them to other JRPGs. So it can be like, you know, a healer class, a tank class, sniper class. These take forms of different sort of characters like cowboys, firemen, um, and that's sort of ha what you can transform into to, to use those class types of other traditional JRPGs. So that's going to be an interesting mechanic when it unlocks. As I say, there is time travel as well. You do actually travel back in time, play through earlier years, sort of the 1970s, 80s, that kind of thing, with your characters to try and sort of find out the root of the problem and why it's happened now in the future. So that's going to be an interesting mechanic as well. So just a real quick look at this. I just wanted to bring some footage. As I say, big appreciation to NIS for providing me a copy to have a look at. Um, I will try and play through it as much of this as I can and hopefully produce another video. I may not be doing a full review, depends how much I can get through, but I am focusing on another NIS game this week um, that's got a review dropping on Friday. So I really um, sort of focusing all of my time on that at the moment. So if you've got any questions about Destiny Connect, uh, then please let me know and I will try and answer them for you. But um, yeah, I hope you like this for now. Um, as I say, I've quite enjoyed what I've played of it so far, the first couple of hours. Runs very nicely, looks nice. So it's just that lack of voice acting that's a little bit of a niggle for me at the moment. But it's a very basic JRPG. If you like those sort of traditional JRPG games, I reckon this one could be right up your street. But say, please like and subscribe, drop me any questions below, and I'll catch you on the next video. Thanks, guys. See ya.